Hey there, today we'll be doing this question that appeared in weekly contest 316. That is 2449, minimum number of operations to make arrays similar. And in this contest, I'll tell you that the question 3 that appeared was, I think, more uh, comparatively more difficult than the question number 4. The question number 4 is, uh, I'd say, easier than question number 3 right here. So let's understand this, how to do this now. So the question statement is you are given two positive integer array nums and target of same length. In one operation, we can choose any two distinct indices that is i and j and both should be different and set the value of nums of i to be nums of i plus 2 and nums of j to be nums of j minus 2. So we need to do this and we need to do this operation some number of time such that all the value of nums are equals to all the value of target and we need to do this in minimum number of operations so how to do this problem so the very basic intuition that might come to your mind is that why not just uh, sort everything up that is 6 8 12 or 2 10 14 and just try to do this operation and you'll see that it does actually work but when we have some odd numbers also in our array, then it will actually fail. So if we just sort all of these up, you'll see that we are stuck at this given point. That means we will try to think that, okay, that we can do some number of operation here and we'll try to make this numbers equal, but that will not be possible. But if we are having some even number of cases, that means let's just say we have something like 4 and 6 at every given point, then we can obviously do it. But when odd numbers are coming, then we will be having some problems. So how can we do that? So in order to just tackle this problem, we can just simply uh, separate these numbers into odd and even category. That is what you have to do in this question. Okay. So this question is actually comparatively easy. You just uh, have to get this intuition that uh, you just have to separate all the odd numbers and even numbers. And how will this help you? I'll just uh, do this dry run and you'll understand it perfectly. So let's just take the first example and the second example and let's just merge it together. So we're having 8, 12, 6 and I'll be writing this in, uh, okay, let's just write it in a different manner and then we'll make it sorted so 14 and 10 and after that we have got 1 2 and 5 and 4 1 and 3 so this is what we are wanting right so after this what are we going to do we are just going to categorize them into odd and even and how do we do that so what are the odd numbers that we have in our num sorry so the odd numbers that we can see here is nothing but 1 after this, we've got 5. So these are the two odd numbers that we have got right here. After that, so this is actually 1, 2 and 5. So 1 and 5 are the only odd numbers that are present in, an, in my nums array. And what are the odd numbers that are present in my target array? So it is nothing but 1 and 3. Now, what are the even numbers that are present in my nums array? So those are nothing but 2, 6, 8 and 12 and what are the even target numbers that are present in my target array it is nothing but 2 4 10 and 14 and i think you must have seen the pattern that why i did that and you must have got the intuition like okay this is how we do this and if not please bear with me you'll understand this perfectly so this is how we do this now why do we actually need to separate why can't we just uh, do something like uh, 3 plus 8. So if we see no matter what operations we do in this We are always going to have a deficient of 1 that means even if you do plus 2 and plus 2 You will still need a plus 1 always right so we can never change an odd number into an even number uh, Without a plus 1 so that is a fact. So that is why you need to categorize them into odd and even uh, pairs so after this is done it is very simple if both the numbers from the odd and the target as well are equal, what do you do? You just do nothing. You just simply move on, right? So that is what you are doing. Now, if you see that, okay, there's an even, there's an odd and there's an odd number right here. 
and we need some number of steps and what are the number of steps we can just simply say that okay i'll be taking uh, a minus operation once here that means i'll do a minus two here right and we'll just simply get three fine above now coming on to this part we see that these two are already equal so no need to do anything to this you just move on after this we come on to this part that is six and four what can we do we can just simply do a uh, minus operation again right that is a minus two and we'll be getting it uh we'll be getting four right here after this we come on to eight and ten and mind you this is eight and ten not eight and sixteen it might look like it is eight and 16, uh, 16 but it is eight and ten uh so this eight and ten what do we need we need a plus two so we could just do a plus two operation right here after that what do we have we have 12 and 14 so what do we need again we need a plus two operation right here so this is what the operations will be looking like these are the operations that will uh, that will be uh done now if we see all the operations that are done here are in a pair right so if i'm doing a minus two here and a minus two again here so that means when i'm doing this minus two here i'm also doing a plus two and why can i say that because they have already said in the question if i'm doing a plus two i will obviously will have to do a minus two right so that is the uh, sequence right here so number of operations done are how many so we can see the number of operations that were done is one two three and four so there were total four operations but the answer is two why so we'll just divide it by two and why so because see every operation is happening in pair right if you're doing a minus two there is a repercussion to it and uh, plus two is also happening so that is why whenever you have an answer that is the number of operations if you have got you just divide the answer by two and that's about how to do this question right and i hope the uh, question statement and the whole explanation is clear to you and now let's move on to the code and the code uh, will obviously be in the description in the link okay if you do need the code please do check that from the link below in the description so as discussed we'll just go through the code once so i have already sorted the array this is the basic part just sort both the nums and target array right after that what are we doing we are just categorizing everything in odd even pairs fine so i've built an odd array and an even array and odd array has an odd target and even array will be having even targets like i showed you uh, while explaining it to you fine so the odd part is having something and the odd part has some target the even part has something and the even part has some target right now when we come on to this we are just categorizing it fine and we are just pushing it into the uh, odd even vectors fine that is what we are doing right here there's nothing much going on here except the fact that we're just pushing everything into the vector by categorizing it after that we come on to the main part which is a very simple part uh what do we do if we see that i'll just be taking an example here so that you understand better what's going on in this while loop so if you're having something like one and three after that we're having something like five and uh, let's just say five and three something like this so we'll be coming on to the odd part right let's just say this is the odd loop and this is the while even loop which will be taking care of the even part and this will be taking care of the odd part so if we come on to the odd part what do we see we'll be having that okay there's one there's three are the values equal no the values are not equal i'll be needing some operations right and what are the number of operation it is nothing but three minus one i'll be needing a two right i'll be needing to add two in here i'll be needing to add two here so what are the number of operations that i will be needing it is nothing but two by two that is one that is one operations right i will be adding two ones so the number of operation is nothing but whatever you have got the difference as by two so the number of operations that were done was one here fine so the number of operation right here that was done is one now when you come on to the second part we have incremented our j pointer and the target pointer also which was both here so we have a pointer which is saying that okay this is pointing to my odd element and what is its target that we want to make out after that 
what do we do we just simply come on to this and we just subtract what is the element that is needed to be subtracted from there it is nothing but two and two can be achieved in how many operations it is nothing but once so i'll be just dividing it by two so i can achieve this two by only doing an operation once so this is the odd part of the array and similarly there will be something going on in the even part of the array now you might think that how is this guaranteeing our problem that means how can i say that every time i'll be getting a minus two and a plus two because actually they have mentioned in the uh, question that it is always possible to make nums similar to target that means if there is an operation it will obviously exist in a pair of minus two and plus two right so that is why i can guarantee that okay there will be someone in the even also and in the odd also if there exists a count fine and at every instance i'm maintaining a count variable nothing special here just take a count variable and every time you're doing an operation just add it and if the values of your even element and the even target element are similar if both are similar do you need to add anything obviously not so that is why you just move on forward if you have something you calculate the answer from there and you just take the steps into your account fine so this is the whole process of this and at the end of the day remember to do count by two as i explained you while explaining the question also so this is the whole code and it will be in the description as well please do check it out from there and if you did like the explanation and if you did understand it please do like and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching